Nike's internal pricing documents. Nike assigns a time frame to each operation. They don't talk about minutes. They break the time frame into ten thousandths of a second. You get to the bottom of all 22 operations to give the workers 6.6 .6 minutes to make the shirt. It's 70 cents an hour in the Dominican Republic. That 6.6 .6 minutes equals 8 cents. These are Nike's documents. That means the wages come to 3 tenths of 1% of the retail price. This is the reality. It's the science of exploitation. But the bottom of it is the, the interesting part. A portion of the proceeds from the sale of this garment will be donated to various children's charities. It's very touching. Get your right here. Walmart is telling you if you purchase these pants, and Kathy Lee is telling you, you purchase these pants, you're going to help children. The problem was the people who handed us the label were 13 years of age. Do many people have family work? Yes, well Just me. You support. How many people do you support? To be five questions that come back at us. We have been. As far as Walmart goes, and Kathy Lee, pretty much everything returned to sweatshop conditions. But because this was fought out on television for weeks. This incident with Kathy Lee Gifford actually took the sweatshop issue to every single part of the country. And so, frankly, after that, there's hardly a single person in this country who doesn't know about child labor or sweatshops or starvation wages. So what we need to do is to look at the very roots of the legal form that created this beast, and we need to think who can hold them accountable. Well, they're not graven in stone. They can be dismantled.